I've just imported this tree and I'm ready to start adding materials to it. Let's start by creating and opening a bark material. To create the color, you want to look for the constant 3 vector node in the palette, or you can hold 3 and click. We use this node because colors are simply three numbers, red, green, and blue. In the details panel, we can set the values individually, or we can click on the color swatch to pick the color. And it's a little too shiny for bark. Hold 1 and click to create a single number, and then connect it to the roughness output pin. Click on this node and then increase its value all the way to 1. Now save the material and let's go create a material for our leaves. In this material, hold 3 and click to create another color. Connect the node and set it to be a green color. The color and specularity look fine, but the material is one-sided. So click on the material node and enable the two-sided setting. Now before going any further, let's save and apply these materials to our mesh. Find the mesh in the content browser and double-click on it. In the mesh editor, find the material slots and assign our two materials to it. Then save the mesh. Back in our leaf material, hold T and click to add a texture sample node. I want to use this texture's alpha channel to control my material's transparency. So select the material node and set its blend mode to translucent. Now we can use the opacity output pin. I connect my texture's alpha channel to the opacity pin, but it doesn't work. It turns out that this texture doesn't have an alpha channel. I should probably edit the image in Photoshop, but I decided to use the green channel to control the opacity. It kind of works, but the green pixels don't have enough green where I want it to be opaque. So I double the strength of the green channel by adding it to itself, and the result is a little better. I can keep doubling the strength with add nodes, and the material becomes much more opaque. And then I decided to rewrite the logic with multiplication. In the end, multiplying the green channel by 20 is perfect. To get some detail, we can also replace our material's base color output pin with this texture as well. Next, I notice that my leaves are sideways. This is something that I should probably fix in Blender on the model itself, but I decided to use my material to rotate the texture UVs. So I used a texture coordinate node, I added it to a constant 2 vector node so that I could shift the texture around the surface. To rotate the UVs, I used a custom rotator node. I fixed the squashing with the texture coordinate node and prevented the UVs from tiling with the clamp node. And this seems to work pretty well. Here's another view of, of the graph. Now let's make the leaves wiggle in the wind. Right click and add a simple grass wind node and connect it to the world position offset. Set the additional offset to 0, 0, 0 by holding 3 and clicking to create a vector 3 node. Hold 1 and click a few times to create single numbers to control the wind intensity and the wind weight. Set these to a value of 1 and watch the leaf wiggle. Adjust the intensity to your liking. Save the material and check it out in the level. That looks pretty cool. And finally, let's fix some of those dark leaves by faking some subsurface scattering. We're going to make the material glow, so we pass our texture into the emissive color output pin. The result is too bright, so let's multiply it by 0.5, so it's half as bright. And here's a before, and here's an after. Starting to look pretty good. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.